In a previous video, I showed you uh, two GVG control panels controlling one ATEM. Now, in this video, I'm going to show one GVG control panel controlling two ATMs. There's two things that need to be considered when doing this. Is first, we need to be able to select the IP addresses of, of the two separate ATEM panels, ATEM uh, switches, and then the second is using the panel to be able to quickly switch between the two ATEMs. So first of all I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, set the IP address up for the two separate ATEMs. Uh, and again in the previous video, um, one of the very early ones I showed you using the um, shift and pattern 10 button will select the ATEM IP addresses shift and pattern 9 will select the GVG panels IP address so now to uh, select the ATEM control panel or the, sorry the ATEM IP address hold our finger on the shift button hit pattern 10 and then take your finger off both buttons you'll see pattern 10 is flashing indicating that we are um, about to change the IP address and then it starts showing you the IP address now I call these the primary and secondary ATM so this is the primary ATM um, setting as you can see I can go through the four IP addresses here and it'll tell you which one of the four it is and then the number so here's number one which is 192 168 to 240 um, and the primary um, IP address is shown by the fact that this is flashing slowly so if I can I can go in and change that IP address as per previous instructions I'm just going to abort out of that now the way you uh, select the secondary ATEM is you hold your finger on the shift button again I'll do it this way so you can see what I'm doing again press 10 but take your finger off the 10 and keep your finger on the, the shift button and then take your finger off and then you'll now see that this is rapidly flashing which indicates that we're now going to adjust the secondary ATEM IP address and as you can see I'm just going to go down in here and there you can see that's 230 the previous one I had up there or the primary was showing 240 um, and of course I can change that um, just by uh, pressing the shift button will then say we're about to change this value and then of course I can then change it to whatever value I want. Um, here I'll just uh, leave it on 230. I've actually got three ATEMs connected on the network at the moment. I'll, in fact I'll change it to 239 which is um, a um, ATEM 4K. Let me just focus if this works. Yes, the data focuses. Um, so um, having selected that, uh, that's the number we want, 239, I can then press enter and um, it's uh, now restarting um, the panel and uh, this is the new version 2.01 software which has got a whole new um, ATEM control uh, engine built into it so things are a lot faster. Um, so now um, I've changed the secondary IP address, but I still haven't. I've still got the original primary IP address. Now the primary IP address is um, an ATEM 2ME standard, um, not the 4K. So as I do the, the wipe, you can see it happening here and doing it here. It's happening over there. Um, so now the second trick is that we now want to change quickly change over to the second IP address that I selected uh, and the way we do that is we hold a finger on the shift button and we press pattern 4 and all this is happening while we're in the color 1 2 mode here which is where all the settings are done so again shift pattern 4 and as soon as I do that you'll see that display goes P240 now this is showing that the primary or P um, is a currently selected 
uh, ATEM that we're controlling. Now, I, if I don't want to change it anymore, if I just wanted to just to see what current panel I'm using, uh, I can then hit abort uh, and we'll go back to normal. And again, if we hit shift, pattern four, um, there it is saying that we're on the primary 240, which is the last digit of the IP address. Now, if I now just press any one of these three buttons, I'll just press this one, it'll now show me the secondary. And that says, S for secondary and that's the IP, the last digit of the IP address is 239. If that's the one I want, I'm just going to hit enter and then you'll see it'll do, it won't do a reboot, it does a quick um, disconnect of the um, of the uh, old ATEM and now it's actually connected to the, um, the secondary ATEM which I said was um, IP 239. So now as I move the the fader, you can see it's doing, doing the fade there. So that's now controlling a totally separate ATEM and as you look over here it's not doing anything to that to that primary ATEM. And again if I want to switch that back we're just going to go shift 4, let me hit focus first, here focus, thank you, I'm going to hit shift 4 and now I just want to switch this back over to primary and just by just hitting that button once that's the one we want and I will show you as I come out here and hit enter you'll see um, hit uh, enter oh, enters over here primary okay hit enter there you see that the, the lights have changed which means it's now received all the information from the primary ATM and as I move the fader there it is there. So it takes about two seconds to drop off the old ATEM and then receive all the um, connection data uh, status and that from the uh, newly connected ATEM. Um, now one of the interesting features of this, uh, and I'm just going to open up a Telnet um, connection, uh, and what it does is it uh, not only does it just switch the ATEMs, it also changes um, this is the, this is the um, Telnet connection to the panel. The Telnet connection is always to the panel, not to the ATEM. Um, so whatever the panel is on, uh, the ATEM will follow. So if I now go over to the Telnet and tell it to uh, just display the cross points, which is key X, you'll see there it says all the cross points, the alloca key allocations for the primary ATEM. And you can see that if you know what they are there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and I'm going to change that to the secondary ATEM. The focus button first. And again we're just going to go shift 4. Oh. Shift 4. Go over to the secondary. Um, press enter. Um, you'll see the Telnet hasn't changed. The Telnet is still there. It's just telling us now that it's restarting with a new ATEM. And again, now if I press the X button, you'll now see that the cross point allocations are totally different because I've set up that's that's for the secondary and that's for the primary. You just can't see the words got out of the screen. Let me just scroll up that screen a bit so we can see it. Yeah, so there's the primary, in focus, there's the primary, and then there's the secondary. So that you can quickly change between the uh, primary and second uh, secondary ATEMs, and it'll retain all the uh, preset cross-point allocations for the, both the um, program preview rows, the key row, and the aux rows. So you don't have to be continually reprogramming them. I hope that was brief enough for you. Now this is um, this is only available in version uh, firmware version 2.01 upwards. More to follow.